We've had a drop in form, losing our last three games, but can we turn it around today as we're taking on the Orient in today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 48 of Walks to the Prem, my Kingsland series here on Football Manager 2020. And just before we do get into the video proper, I want to say thank you to everybody that has watched my video I put out last night. Episode 1 of the West Ham 0607 series. What a response it's had. I've just checked. It's hit 163 views as of recording. And that is just phenomenal for my channel. So thank you everybody that has watched that. I'm going to put a link to it down below. So you can go and check it out if you want when you're done watching this one. And now into Kingsland business. We have got a massive game today. Like I said in the intro, we've lost our last three games. So we need to turn it around the transfer window is open as you can see up on the right hand side but we're not going to be buying anybody why we're we not going to be buying anybody because the finances are looking absolutely garbage whoever made the projections at the start of the year that we was going to be a million pound in profit by the end of it they want sacking because look at that it's not looking good and so, we're not actively looking to buy anybody, but selling players, if we get decent offers in, we are going to have to look at them. But that is for a future day and to see what happens in the next few weeks. And so now, let's go and have a look at the schedule, see what's been going on since we was last together for the 2-2 game against Notts County. We followed that one up with a 2-2 draw against Gunthorpe. Absolutely back and forth game. 2-2, probably the right result. We then had a 1-0 win against Lincoln. Akeem Rose, who started the game because Aberdeen Goodridge has picked up a knock. He scored from the penalty spot. We won that one. And then after that, we beat Aldershot 1-0. Dylan Crow with the goal very, very early on. And we managed to hold on. But then, since then, we've had a 2-0 defeat to Gillingham, 2-1 defeat to Northampton, and Crawley, we lost to them, two goals to one, losing that one in the 93rd minute, after thinking we'd equalised, thanks to Adam Marriott's first professional goal in about 10 years. He got his first goal of the season, but it wasn't enough to get us to draw. And so that takes us to where we are right now, which is 6th uh, or 7th in the league? 7th. We are still in a promotion playoff spot, but we are now 7 points behind Forest Green up at the top. Still only 2 behind Knox County in the, play in the promo automatic spots. That's what I'm trying to say. And so you never know. A win here today, and we could be back in the automatic spots, which would be very, very nice. And so let's go and have a look and see what the team is going to be for today's game. We've got Herbin in goal, Tyreek Wilson at left back, Barnett and Chandler are our centre back pairing for today. Dylan Crow comes in at right back, Lewis is on the left hand side, McCarthy and Simmons as ever are our midfield too. DiMaggio comes back into the squad in the right wing. And then up top, it is Romain Mundell just behind Aberdeen Goodridge. Come on, you Linnets. The bookmakers have Leighton Orion as the favourites for today's game. They're 5-4 to four to win, so not massive favourites. And it's a very tight game. Us being 7th in the league, Leighton Orion being ninth. This could be anybody's game. Okay, guys, here we are in the dressing room. Let's see what kind of reaction we can get out of the boys. It's time to put an end to this poor run of form. A few people are motivated, and I want to see some solid defensive work, some taking control of the midfield, and I think I'm going to leave it at that because Aberdeen Goodridge is looking motivated, so I don't want to risk that. And so, prediction time. 2-0 uh, us. Come on, Linux. Come on, you Kingsland. 
first highlight of the game, four minutes in, McCarthy with the ball, loses it there, just gives it away to Taylor. Sorry, who goes long, but we well, we try to get it away, but Barnett just gives it straight to McDonald. McDonald is into the box, and is he going to get it crossed in? No, he's not. That's a great tackle there from Mundell. And now, can he get the ball forward? Can we start our own counter-attack? Lewis now with the ball on the left-hand side, cutting inside. He's got a man there, surely. He goes short to Mundell, who goes out wide. And now Wilson is into the box. He's gone past one man. He's gone past another. And his shot has been saved by Bossin. 28 minutes into the game. Karoma now with the ball for Leighton Orient. Goes back to Randall. Out wide to Judy. On, on Judd even. On their right hand side. And now they get it back off our clearance. Come on, can we get this back? We've got a couple men on him. But he does get it away. Matthews with a long ball. Karoma split our defence there. And what a goal that is. What on earth happened there? An absolute mad bit of skill from Josh Karoma. And our two defenders who were tight on him were sent for an absolute hot dog there. Let's have a look at this pass here. Matthews gets it. And then Karoma spin. And wow. That's a very good goal. You can't really say too much against that, can you? Ten minutes till the half-time break. McCarthy with the ball now to Barnett, who just hoofed it long. And we've given it away. We just can't keep hold of the ball today. McDonald now. Back to Randall. To Matthews, who's gone long. Wilson nods it on for Lewis. And he's gone over the top. Aberdeen Goodridge, I think he's onside. But he needs a man with him. Goes to Lewis. Back to Goodridge. Again, he needs somebody with him. He's crossed it into the box. DiMaggio with the shot. And a bit too easy for their keeper to save there. Lots of highlights in this first half. As now Simmons gets it off our throw in. Back to Chandler. Deep in our half. Simmons flicks it on to Dylan Crow, Who just gives it away to Frampong. I believe that's the Frampong who started off at Arsenal. But I could be wrong. And now Chandler with a long pass. That's offside. That is offside, I think. Yeah, it is. That was never going to count. Oh, my days. This half just refuses to end as now Herbin gets the ball off Barnett's back pass. Herbin goes long and Lewis does collect the ball on the halfway line. Wilson on the left goes back inside to McCarthy who goes out wide to DiMaggio who's in a lot of space here. He's got space to run at them. He's into the box. He needs to cross this. He has a wide, didn't he? Cross. If it had crossed, we'd have been level. And that's the half-time whistle. We have had five shots, two there, four. Three on target, two there, two. But only 44% of the ball. Something needs to change. I think we need to start playing sort of football. That's what I'm thinking, because we're losing the ball when we're trying to hoof it long. So, let's go sort of passing. We've already got sort of passing. Why are we hoofing it long then? I don't understand. But let's go counter when we wing the ball. And yeah, everything shouldn't be leading to us hoofing the ball out wide. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But we'll leave it at that for the time being. And we're going to go team talk. I'm going to go assertive. I'm not happy. Uh, give Show me something else. A few of the lads are motivated. And now go for the old Georgie Michael. And here we go. Come on. Everybody's motivated. That is very nice to see. Can we please turn this game around? I don't want to make it four losses on the spin. No highlights as of yet in this second half. So we're going to start making a couple of changes. Ah, oh, sorry for that cut. I've just had a big coughing fit. It's okay. I'm not ill, I promise. Uh, let's go Ewan Murray. Let's bring him on. In place of McCarthy. And who else do we want to bring on? Do we maybe bring on Marsden for Mundell? Mundell's not done a great deal today. Let's get him on. And yet, yeah, I think that's how we're going to leave it. Maybe go for a higher defensive line. And anything else? Oh, you know what? After just saying, I don't want to lump the ball long. Let's go and lump the ball long. Or at least play it out to the flanks. That's what we're going to do. Play the ball out to the flanks. Go for a little bit more direct passing. Higher tempo. Try and hit early crosses and shoot on sight. 
and see what that can do for us for the last 25 minutes. Seven minutes left in this game. Marsden gets the ball back to Crow, who crosses it in. Aberdeen Goodridge squares it there. Why didn't he turn and take the shot on? Oh, my days. But we've got it back. Ewan Murray with it. Wide to Barnett, who plays it wide. Wilson back to Murray. We're playing some good football here. We just need to get it nearer the goal. As there you go. Aberdeen Goodridge with the shot. And it's gone behind for a corner ball. Come on. An equaliser would be beautiful. As it's going to be Crow to take it. And it's headed away there. Ewan Murray will be the first to get it on our right hand side. And he loses it there. But wins it back. And Karoma, their goal scorer, puts the ball out for a throw in. And are we going to see any more of this highlight? Indeed, I think we are. It's going to be Crow throwing it salt to Simmons. Who crosses it in. And oh, he's almost fluked it. He's almost fluked it. But unluckily, unfortunately not. Ah, oh, oh my days. Four defeats on the spin. Our season is coming off the rails at the minute. And so, let's have a look at the stats. Ten shots to their 13. Five on target to their six. Only 46% of the ball. Even game, I'd say. Little bit unlucky to lose it, maybe. Let's go dressing room. I'm um, going to try and keep the morale up. Uh, unlucky boys. They're all relaxed and they're motivated. So let's go and have a look. See where we are in the league now. And see when we're going to come back for the next episode. So for the first time in a very long time this season. We've dropped out of the promotion places. We need to start turning this around. But. Even if we do only finish somewhere around here, it's a lot, lot better than I was expecting at the start of the season. But now we've been there, I really want to try and get back into the promotion places. And you never know, make it a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back promotion. How amazing would that be? And so, let's see, where are we going to come back? I want to try and get quite a bit done now. So, let's see. Mm, where do we come back? Beginning of March, maybe? End of February, beginning of March? We've played Port Vale a few times on this series, I think. So, how about Scunthorpe? I think, I think we try and get to Scunthorpe. See how much I can get done between now and Monday, which will be the next episode of this series. And so, guys, if you've enjoyed that video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. This Walks to Prem series, the West Ham 0607 series, that'll be back tomorrow. And follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming for all the news on the channel. And as well as that, check out the Passion for FM website, Twitter, Discord. Facebook, I think that's the one I missed out. It's probably not. And check out all the other Passion for FM YouTubers as well. All their details are down below. Check them all out. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you tomorrow for the West Ham series. Sayonara.